Manchester United is an English professional football club founded in 1878. It has won a record of 19 league titles, 11 FA Cups and 3 European Cups. With 660 million fans, it's one of the most widely supported sports team in the world. In fact, Forbes annual ranking of sports team ranks Man U in the first place with a value of $2.2 billion. European football has undergone four major disruptions in the last 20 years, but we will show that Manu's strategic agility as an organization and resilience has enabled it to not only survive, but also thrive. In 1992, the old English First Division broke away to form the Premier League and take advantage of a lucrative pay TV deal. Television rights were sold on a collective basis, shifting football clubs' income from gate revenue to television revenues. Other countries in Europe allowed large clubs to negotiate individually, placing Manu at a disadvantage. Manu's strategic response was to change their business model by developing other long-term revenue streams. Manu became the first global football brand, with merchandising revenue increasing by 25 times in five years' time on everything from bed spreads to credit cards. The club targeted Asia heavily, eventually selling one million replica shirts per year in that region. Groundbreaking sponsorship deals were signed with Sharp, Vodafone and Nike. In 1995, the Bosman ruling by the European courts introduced free agency for football players at the end of their professional contract and eliminated limits on foreign players within European Union countries. This regulatory disruption shifted the power away from football clubs towards the players. Manu responded to this new environment by focusing on the development of their youth team and establishing feeder club relationships with European clubs. You can't win anything with kids. You look at that line at Manchester United today and Aston Villa at quarter past two when they get the team sheet, it's just going to give them a lift and it'll happen every time he plays the kids. He's got to buy players. Manchester United's rivals said it couldn't win anything with youth, but it continued to win trophy after trophy, bringing through Beckham and another generation of youth players. And Beckham saw Sullivan off his line! Absolutely phenomenal! A tight wage structure was also introduced based on performance and future promise, while a global scouting network was established, focusing on buying talent from Europe, Latin America and Asia. Given away by Vieira, possession needlessly surrendered by Arsenal, Giggs happy to just Get the ball down the other end of the pitch, but can he do any more than that? Still Giggs goes, he's through, he scored! Ryan Giggs, he's at the goal that's won it for Manchester United! In the 2000s, foreign ownership became a staple of the Premier League, accounting for 11 out of 20 teams. Whereas Man United was acquired in a leveraged buyout, restricting its cash flows, Chelsea and Man City were acquired by Roman Abramovich and the Abu Dhabi group, respectively each investing over £1 billion. This disruption led to an agility loop whereby choices needed to be revised in order to further diversify and augment revenues and control costs. In 2009, star player Cristiano Ronaldo was sold for £80 million. Furthermore, resources were allocated to summer tours in Asia and buying Asian players, including Park Ji Sung from Korea and Shinji Kagawa from Japan, to improve brand awareness in those markets. An IPO in 2012 improved corporate agility by reducing overall debt as well as interest payments. Financial fair play regulations starting next year will force clubs to balance expenditure with earnings and restrict the influence of outside money. Man United's dominant position and experience confers the strategic agility needed for such an event. It is hiring more scouts in Latin America for the best deals. It is the most attractive club to players, sponsors and fans and now has financial flexibility with its IPO. Thus, it is the best placed club to benefit from spending curbs and has the culture and the agility for continued dominance. In conclusion, consistently increasing earnings and winning trophies through many disruptions over two decades, Manchester United have shown both high absorption and high agility and distinguished themselves as the undisputed champs of English football. Manchester United have always been a powerhouse in English football with great absorption. However, in the last two decades, with good leadership, they have built up strategic agility as a club which has enabled them to move from being powerhouses to being champs in the world of football.